In this video, I am going to differentiate some algebraic function using the formula I have discussed in our last class. So first, uh, if you are given fx, then you need to calculate a prime x since a prime x is the first derivative. And if you are given y, you need to calculate dy dx, dy dx also for its derivative. So let us uh, differentiate this y. So your fx is this, therefore a prime x or first derivative of fx will be what? A power, this power will be the coefficient. Then the power will decrease by 1, 2x plus 5 whole to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 into you need to differentiate again your function 3x square minus 2x plus 5 so this equal 3 by 2 3x square minus 2x plus 5 whole to the power 3 by 2 minus 1 which is 1 half into derivative of 3x square which is 6x 6x minus derivative of 2x which is 2 so if you factor out 2 from here this 2 and this 2 will cancel we have 3 into 3x minus 1 if you factor out 2 from here then remaining factor 3x minus 1 and 2 and 2 will cancel this one power half we can write the square root through 3x square minus 2x plus 5 this is the answer and similarly you can try this one by yourself you can try this one by yourself let me discuss this example this is your fx so the first derivative of x will be what a prime x will be 50 you can simplify this one first 50 into 0.2x plus 5 whole to the power what? whole to the power negative 1 because we know x to the power negative 1 equal to 1 by x so now we can differentiate this function 50 is constant so 50 will stay here and minus power minus 1 will be coefficient 0.2x plus 5 whole to the power minus 1 is the previous power but now you need to again put minus 1 into derivative of 0.2x plus 5 you need to differentiate again your function this equal minus 50 minus 50 into 0.2x plus 5 whole to the power negative 2 into derivative of 0.2x which is 0.2 plus 0 this equal 50 times 0.2 which will be 50 you see 50 minus 50 into 0.2 which will be minus uh, 500 so minus 50 sorry minus 10 minus 10 so in the numerator we have minus 10 and this power since the power is negative 2 so you can put we can put this in the denominator 0.2x plus 5 whole square this is the answer let us solve this one here this is your fx this is your fx so a prime x will be what a prime x will be 
derivative of 10x which is what only 10 minus 54 54 will be the constant so it will stay here and if you take this one in the numerator the power will be negative half so negative half will be the coefficient 5x square plus 4 all to the power negative half minus 1 into derivative of 5x square plus 4 like before this equal 10 minus and minus will be plus 54 by 2 which is 27 and 5x square plus 4 whole to the power minus 3 by 2 minus half minus 1 minus 3 by 2 into derivative of 5x square which is 10x plus 0 so let me put only 10x here now this is our f prime x but you need to determine f prime 1 so let me replace x by 1 on both sides f prime 1 is equal 10 plus 27 into 5 into 1 square which is 1 so 5 plus 4 which is 9 whole to the power minus 3 by 2 into 10 into 1 which is 10 this equal 10 plus 27 into 10 270 and 9 means 3 square 3 square whole to the power minus 3 by 2 this 2 and this 2 you can cancel out so you have 10 plus 270 into 3 to the power minus 3 which is equal 10 plus 270 divided by 27 because 3 to the power minus 3 equal 1 by 3 to the power 3 which is 1 by 27 this equal 10 plus 10 which is equal 20 so 20 is the answer and similarly we can try from 1 to 24 let me solve some of those problems then the other problems you can solve by yourself for example here f prime x will be what in example 1 f prime x will be 5 into 6x minus 5 whole to the power 5 minus 1 into derivative of 6x minus 5 using formula 5 this equal 5 6x minus 5 whole to the power 4 into derivative of 6x minus 5 which is 6 minus 0 so we can put only 6 now 5 into 6 which, which, which is 30 6x minus 5 whole to the power 4 this is the result example 2 is exactly same you can try this one by yourself example 3 also same but let me solve a prime x equal 3 2x to the power 3 minus 1 into derivative of 2x because the function here is 2x 3 into 2x to the power 2 into 2 which is equal 6 into 2 square means 4x square which is 24x square however you can also solve this one in another way you see fx is equal 2x whole cube you can first simplify it 2 to the power 3 which is 8x cube now you can differentiate 
a prime x is equal 8 into 3x square which is equal 24x square 4 is same like 3 5 is same like 3 6 is exactly same like 3 and 7 is same like 1 8 is exactly same like 1 and 2 9 is exactly same like the one I have solved here this one so 10 also same you can solve by yourself 11 same 12 same 13 also same let me solve it here you can simplify it first 4 into 2x minus 3 whole to the power negative 1 now you can differentiate a prime x is equal 4 is a constant so you can stay here and this negative power will be the negative one will be coefficient and 2x minus 3 whole to the power negative 1 minus 1 so it will be negative 2 into derivative of 2x minus 3 which is 2 you can directly put 2 no problem now this equal minus 8 minus 4 into 2 8 and 2x minus 3 whole square you can put in the denominator because then the power is negative so this is the answer and 14 same 15 you can try 16 let me solve let me solve 15 15 equal fx is equal 1 by x minus 2 whole square so this equal uh, a prime x will be what 2 into 1 by x minus 2 whole to the power 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 into derivative of 1 by x minus 2 which is equal to 2 into 1 by x minus 2 whole to the power 1 into derivative of 1 by x which is minus 1 by x square minus 0 so you don't need to put 0 this equal minus 2 what is the answer minus 2 by x square minus 2 by x square into 1 by x minus 2 1 by x minus 2 this is the answer but probably you don't understand this how derivative of 1 by x equal to minus 1 by x square let me discuss it here derivative of 1 by x we can write derivative of x to the power minus 1 now we can differentiate it minus 1 into x to the power minus 1 minus 1 because the previous power negative 1 now you need to again subtract 1 minus 1 x to the power negative 2 which is equal minus 1 by x square so this is how we we solve it 16 now you can try and 17 you can also try after simplifying uh, like this 9 3x minus 5 whole to the power negative 2 18 you can first simplify 12 into 2x plus 10 whole to the power negative 3 19 also same 19 is the one uh, I have solved before uh, this one 19 is exactly like this one so you can try by yourself and 20 also you can try the same 20 21 22 23 24 they are same 19 to 24 they are same problem let me uh, solve one of them for you 
let me solve 23 gx is equal to this gx equal to this therefore g prime x will be derivative of 10x which is what which is 10 plus derivative of this which is equal 18 is a constant so you can keep it here uh, you can first simplify this one in this way you see 18 5 plus 2x whole to the power negative half negative half so now you can differentiate 18 into negative half 5 plus 2x whole to the power negative half minus 1 into derivative of 5 plus 2x which is 2 now we need to calculate z prime 2 so let us replace x by 2 on both sides which is equal 10 plus this 2 and this 2 you can cancel out this plus and this minus will make minus 18 into 5 plus 2 into 2 which is 4 all to the power minus 3 by 2 this equal 10 minus 18 into 9 to the power minus 3 by 2 9 means 3 to the power 2 3 square all to the power minus 3 by 2 you can cancel out 2 and 2 so you have 10 minus 18 into 3 to the power minus 3 and 3 to the power minus 3 means 1 by 27 so it will be 18 by 27 which is equal 10 minus uh, 2 by 3 dividing numerator and denominator by 9 we get 2 by 3 now LCM 3 30 minus 2 